I'm assuming you start winding your way back through the forest following the row. Here is how you came here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Say, so, uh, Miko. Yes? I didn't know your snake could talk. And that was a one way type of thing. Oh, he can't. And you'll see my eyes roll back in my head. And I'll just sort of stare up towards the sky a little bit. And then my voice will come through my snake. He can't. But I can through him. Wait, well, have you always been able to do that? I'll snap back. <clears throat> you... No! I you just. Snap back, you're about to walk into a tree, so you quickly correct yourself. <laughs> uh, no! I just felt like I was able to now. Oh, oh, well, that's. that's pretty neat. I almost got the body of life out to me earlier, but I've uh, done. It might be useful to have. Hmm. Could have used this last night. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I honestly wouldn't really want to think about that going any other way besides the way it did. We got what we wanted, we got out safe. I it, went, it went really well. Yeah, almost a little bit too well, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much. You think it will backfire? Uh, I don't know. But honestly, I just want to get out of this place as fast as possible so we don't have to find out. I hope nothing bad happens to the children while we're away. Don't jinx it. Oh, please. Oh. I'll slap my hand off my mouth. Oh! I'm okay. sorry. Their situation's better now than when we got here, I feel. So. Should yeah. we try to stay? Uh, no, we don't have the time. No, no, I mean, not stay physically with them, but uh, continue ways of communication with Will and uh, the others. Picking up on them every once in a while. Yeah. You're thinking about How your daughter, you do Sergio? Sorry, what did you say, Victor? Yeah, thinking about uh, your daughter still, right? Yeah. I feel bad for... even them on their own. But they, man yeah. they actually managed to do quite well, so that gives a bit of... Uh, gives me a bit at ease. Well, listen, the way I think about it is we were here for a reason. And... We need to resolve this, and the only... We're in this predicament because we wanted more information about what we need to do next. And we've got that information now. So we just got to do this job, so... Honestly, we, we know where each of our things are. It's just a matter of planning around it. But once we're done with this arrangement, then... Where I see it, um, until we get what we want... It's in our best interest to stick together, so we'll be able to uh, think a little bit more clearly when when our uh, times are own again. Yeah. Miku. Yes. You're still walking with your arm outstretched. Uh, I was I was holding the envelope between like finger and thumb, like, kind of away from me. This whole time. I say, about 15, 20 minutes have passed. Do you just continue walking like that, so how do you open it? I want to sniff it. Give me an investigation roll. Smells a little bit of damp. Oh, damp is good. Things don't explode when they're wet. Mm, the ones outside of this, does it look like he's just touching a tree? Say again? Does it look like he's just touching a tree? 
How do you mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it's uh, hands in front of him, right? And he's not walking against the tree. He has his hand outstretched for the tomb, but you can see the envelope that he's holding. Oh, envelope. And outside. Yeah, at this point, I'm like inspecting it close to my face. I'm talking to myself. Damn, yes. It, it won't explode if it's damp. Hmm. Well, no harm ever came from reading some paper. I'll, I'll break the seal. It's fall. Uh, sorry, try to drag, and I forgot it's not drag, it's click. So, you break the seal, and inside is a single piece of parchment. That looks like that. Just better. On top left, there's. <laughs> I'll read it aloud. Not to everybody, but aloud enough that they could hear. <laughs> what is lost is found. Who is Rumpelklump? I'll actually say that to everyone. Um... um... Dents is actually just going to start down the environment. Does he kind of like feel anything change in the atmosphere as Miko is reading those words? Uh, do you want to roll perception, survival, or investigation? Assuming it's magic, would it not be arcana? Oh, do arcana if you wish? No, I'm just. Uh, let me actually just need to go up and to this page side for a moment. Do, 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 do. Uh, so, sorry, what were the options for this, Pete? Perception, Investigation, uh, Arcana, now as well, or Survival. Depending on what you're looking for. Ultimately. I think, um, I think honestly, he's going to go with Arcana because he essentially wants to see... It, it, Victor's thinking it's some sort of incantation, so he's wanting to know whether, you know, something as magical is going on here. Um, a nine. Do you extend your magical senses out into the area around you? You can sense magic everywhere. Literally everywhere. In everything. Mm. You feel the trees looking at you. Alright. So I expected that. Well, I um, mean, Carl is reckoning it might be something magical, but when I try to sense anything around here, I sense everything everywhere, all at once, about like. So, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, as for your question, I'm not sure if, uh, well, that's a person, or might be some sort of magic phrase, not sure, but nothing seems visibly different, so, I don't know. Have we heard that name before, Lump or Clump? I feel like we have. Uh, quite possibly. Can yeah, I've heard a lot of names. Can I roll history to see if uh, Nico remembers the name? Go ahead. Eleven. You don't recall the name. Don't know. Hmm. You know. Hmm. But good news is that it has been found. Whatever is lost. So. Actually, I'm just gonna check something. Uh, Pete. Yes. Would we at this point still have the tickets that we got from the Witch Eye Carnival when we initially went in? Oh yes, you will. Yeah, Victor is going to actually pull his out of his bag and he's going to inspect it to see 
For some reason, that phrase, what is lost, is found kind of... Yeah, just, I don't know, just considering that, you know, how this journey started. Just out of pure curiosity. Might be completely wrong, just it's going to uh, scan the ticket to see if there was, like, a name of, you know, the person who bought it or issued it. I know that was kept anonymous, but he never actually looks at it, so he doesn't know. You look over the tickets, and on one side it is blank, on the other side it has the Witch Light Carnival in large embossed letters with a painting of the carnival in the background. On the right hand side of the tickets it says admit one, and there are punches as to how many times the ticket has been used. Mm -hmm. There is no sign of a signature. Do you know the... Name. Does the picture on that on Miko's card look anything like the Witch High Carnival? Or like well, as depicted on the ticket, I mean. Uh no it doesn't. Uh, with my phone. I'll take a picture and send it to you. Oh no, you don't and need so to I'll just it's just being got a reference. Okay. I don't remember, but did Miko see the dollhouse in Loomwitch? I'm not. I don't um, remember which of us well, went into that room. Yeah, but if you remember, you were basically watching everything, weren't you? Through your snake. So if they clapped eyes on mm. the, on the doll, dollhouse mm. the second time, then you would have seen no, it we too. Only went the first time we went there, not the second time. Well, like I said, so, if you went that way, but I don't, I don't think you did, because you were mainly just you went straight to the to the room where you got the painting, and then you encountered so a pig. I think you guys did just briefly discuss it, but I think ultimately you just decided that you weren't even going to go near there. Well, I'll, I'll turn the piece of paper around and show everyone the picture. Right. Uh, but Victor will, will say, yeah, I don't know, kind of reminded me of, uh, I don't know, kind of reminded me of the carnival a little bit, so. You know, now think about it, we never actually did figure out who got us these tickets. Kind of seems a little bit insignificant to think about it now, but well, we never did find out, did we? Whilst Victor is talking, Nico. You look at the picture, and it does vaguely look like the dollhouse. I mean, what I, I was thinking about that, he, what is lost is found, is the items that we lost. And they are in the dollhouse, which looks like that house, kind of. But how do, who's Rumpelklump, and how does he know? <gasps> Do you think this is how we get in there? You you said you had to be small. I mean, he did give me that ring. That I still have. But that was Will. Did anything happen to me when I said that word? Rumpel clump? Roll me out, Kana. Nope, nothing happened. You know, I actually got an idea then, based on what you were saying. Um, hey, Nico, first time you encountered that dollhouse, was it locked or anything like that? Uh, yes, and also heavy. Extremely heavy. I'm guessing, uh, although that Pex wasn't with you, was she? You, was it locked physically, or...? And uh, no, I think more magic wise. Hmm. You don't know, that that's. I don't know. The phrase on that's used to dispel the magic, maybe. Could be. As I mean. Could be. 
me and Bavlora would need to get into there somehow to, well, add our stuff to the collection, so, I mean, if I was, well, I don't even want to think about saying no sense. But for the sake of explanation, if I happen to be a hag, I reckon that that would probably be the way that I would keep something safe. I mean, they do everything else with words, so why not the locks? That is a fair assessment. We can try it out next time we, we get there. Alright. But, as I said... Yeah, once we're, we've dealt with this problem, I think we'll have a lot more time and room to think about what we're doing. No. How far until we are... I'd say throughout this conversation, you've been meandering your way down. You're currently at the Wayward Pool, still making your way down. There's nothing in particular that you want to discuss. I'd say you end up making your way back into the forest towards where you originally came from. Unless there's anything particular you want to do on the way? Uh, not perfect, at least. No, not for Nico. Uh, halfway through the journey, Phil starts singing, and it keeps up. Marching, walking, walking, marching, going about the day. That keeps up for, I'm going to say, two hours, before he eventually gets bored. <laughs> At which point, you are passing... Around about where Nib's cave was, making your way back to the pickup points. I just realized this. Will Phil be safe traveling to Heather? Hmm. Well, this is the big problem, isn't it? That, um, yeah, yeah, it picks going through, going through that place again. Um, um, Did, didn't she get something from? Did she get something from Nib actually? To to mask her presence. Now I cast my mind back. I know she wasn't particularly keen I, on relying on it. I think she did. Because we had that whole discussion about well, what is it that we need, and what that was one of the things we need. For the sake of pondering, uh, yes, indeed, she did get something to help assist with that. Maybe she's not here to answer herself. <laughs> and I've completely forgotten exactly what the spell was called that was on it. And the item, but never mind. It was probably... Uh, magic Aura, I think, is what changes your creature type. I don't know. It might have been what it was, but I don't know. We'll just go with that for now. <laughs> Pen would know. I, I have a note sheet. somewhere, but I don't know where, and it's going to take me a while to find it. <laughs> Essentially, she asked for an item that would help with a predicament, so one was supplied. Yeah, basically, yeah. So, you pass Nib's cave, you work your way through the forest. And you come out into the clearing, and you see a familiar balloon with a basket, and you see a figure of shadow stood in the basket. I peek inside. You peek inside, the figure looks at you, and you see Clapperclaw on the floor in a corner, shaking, looking up towards the shadow. The shadow being me or something else? The shadow being what met you on the road. Ah. I see you are already here. 
Yes, I found my way here. Great. Get in. Apakar is shaking uncontrollably as you all start to get in. I am doing all right there, Clop Clop. Raises one claw, pointing towards the shadow. You won't leave me! He, he just stands there looking at me! Yeah, he's kind of creepy, yeah? Why, why, why are you scared? Honestly, because I'm too bloody tired. But, but, but. And we already met him before. Well, yes. yeah, that too, actually. Is he a, a, a friend? Well, and Nico. Mm -hmm. He is someone we met on the road who helped with our predicament and in return we help him with his predicament and hey uh could you send me a message somehow next time please if i could i would right um he slowly starts to get up um it's okay, okay. He's, he won't hurt you that much <laughs> not at all. I mean, he's our, he's our guide, and you want to get out of here, if I remember right. So, in both of our best interests, that you leave him alone. Yes, I suppose. The shadow figure settles towards one corner, looking out. As Clapcar begins to prep the balloon to fly. Where are we going? The mushroom speaks. Why? Somewhere. To hither. Yeah, to a different realm. Um, are you excited? Oh, yeah. I've never been to a different realm before. I thought you might be. Is it going to be like an adventure? I mean, do you not say that everything we've done so far has been an adventure? Yes. Then it's more of that. Yeah! Oh, do I need to pack a lunch? Um, wait, you, do you actually need to... Do you actually need to eat? Or is that yes, a... I'm not starving. Ah, um, well, we'll, we'll probably, we'll get something to eat when we get there. Okay. He tilts his head from side to side, hops up and down on Miko's shoulder. Let's do this! Away! You stay still for a minute. The plume is still being prepped. Uh, you might In... want to slow the go all there a little bit. So uh, these things take a few minutes. Oh. Okay. Waiting, 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 waiting. Things can take so... a few minutes. Sorry, Nico. Um, we uh, want to say something. No. Oh, oh, fair enough. Sorry if I heard someone uh, trying to uh, trying to interject there. No, nothing that you already said. No. That, just that take some time for the balloon to rise. A few minutes later, ropes are pulled in, stakes are taken out the ground, and the balloon begins to rise into the air. It turns around lazily and starts to make its way towards the mists. And once more, the mists begin to wingle the blip. Get comfortable, because it will take no. half a day. I right, Pix, not that you uh, need me to tell you, but uh, you might want to pop the item of yours in a little bit. Uh, kind of, I don't know. Uh, maybe just, um, I don't know, keep on the ground, just so, uh, well, you don't just spot you with the eyes if you're at least concealed magically. I'll just say, she does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. 
And you guys make your way out into the mists. They swamp around you and you see nothing for quite some time. And then, gradually, you begin to see large shadows looming in the distance. These ones remain inert. They don't move. The mouths don't spread, the eyes don't open. For about half an hour, the last of them passes from sight. You hear Clapperclaw visibly take a breath. Oh. Okay, that, that's good. Um, I'm going to assume you did something. Um, yeah. Yeah, we, good. yeah, we picked some up whilst we were over there, and it seems to have done its job, so... Well, like, um, I was fully no... expecting to die that time. Well, well I suppose uh, today's the lucky day, then. Ah, yes it is. Hopefully you haven't just jinxed that. Hey, I wasn't saying anything one way or the other. So, for the remainder of the blim, anything in particular? I will just make sure that our shadow friend stays in check. And, actually, now that we're all in here, I would like to cast Divine Sense. Or use Divine Sense. Okay. And that does... Do again. Oh, to find the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. And you cast that? Oh, sorry, go on. About what our shadow friend is. As you cast your sense, um, hmm, what's your spell save? It is 16. Okay, okay. dokie. You let out your sense, and you can tell that this guest of yours is absolutely a fiend. Something dark emanates off of it. You get the sense of violence, the seat. But you don't really get anything more than that from it. As you're looking it over and probing it with your senses, the face turns to look at you. And you see a smile spread across its face. Can I help you? Just making sure you don't do anything untoward. Ah, <laughs> uh, there won't be much point to doing that here, though, would there? So how did you get even here? The face are a long way from home. Ah, well, I like to cause trouble where I go now and then. I was in the Fey Realm, so you know, I'm kicking up a bit of a fuss. Corrupting some things, enslaving others, you know, the normal sort of thing. And then, boom, big explosion. The land wrenched asunder. Magic flowing everywhere, and it was trapped. How long ago was this? Hmm. Hard to say. I'm gonna say between... 12 and 48 years, maybe? Alright. So now you're trying to um, free yourself from this predicament. Well, 
I would like to return from where I come from. That would be quite nice, but I'll settle for a change of scenery for the time being and, and see what happens. I heard that um, when fiends die, they return to the house. Yes, but then I won't be able to have all this fun. Right. I just end the conversation there, staring him down. He also just simply stares at you. I'm going to say roll, but you literally don't blink. So eventually he turns away. <laughs> Does anyone else do anything else during this trip? Um, I, I think Victor will probably just be quiet for most of the trip. And we can get some sleep. Yeah, lazy person. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Miko? Oh, you caught me in the middle of a yard. No, I'm going to be uh, just fiddling with my component pouch. I've like, got everything laid out in front of me, looking over things, telling Phil about all these little bits of f fluff and crap I've collected. Phil is completely enthralled in everything you're saying. Every single thing you show him is like the most amazing thing he's ever seen. Especially things not from where he's from. So, time passes and you guys make your way. It begins to grow brighter around you. Brighter, brighter, and then duller and duller. As the fog begins to disperse and you find yourselves back in heaven.